everybody? Here we are, posting at the beach, right? Chilling. Another one of those days. Anyway, I feel like it's time to get busy. Hey, what's happening, folks? Welcome back to another fine episode of the Ink Hustle Tattoo TV with Jess Campos. Right now, I'm just working on this design real quick, trying to prep this up. Um, now, this right here is my little tutorial or my little, uh, what do you call it, uh, time lapse on some design work that I've been doing. Um, this is just one of the ways that I execute artwork. And on this episode, I'm using a tablet, my iPad Pro, um, and I'm using the Procreate app. Now, this has been a popular app for a while, and um, if you guys haven't got on it, it's pretty quick and easy and easy to use. Um, I was used to working with Photoshop. In fact, I still pay for my uh, Creative Cloud. I pay about 29, 30 bucks for my Creative Cloud. But, you know, I don't use Photoshop as much as I used to. I've learned Photoshop years ago. I also learned um, Illustrator. Very hard app, uh, very hard applications to use. But um, so far, uh, Procreate, it's been there for a while now. And um, I use it from time to time. But never do I feel like it's something I I normally use to finish a design. But here I am right here. I'm sketching up this beautiful um, warrior princess girl, you know, with war paint on her face. And uh, she's got this mean looking, um, fearsome headdress of a leopard, you know what I mean? And uh, she's just coming out pretty nice. So. Um, what do you guys think? I mean, I'm using Procreate and I've used it a lot of times, but this time I'm going into deep detail work. Um, as you can see, I'm working on all the little highlights with the white, you know, I'm trying to add fur and detail to the feathers and to the fur. I'm trying to create like a more in depth, more uh, surreal, um, design here so hyper realism type of thing now i don't consider it hyper realism due to it's only it still got that comic look it's still got that almost cartoony style look and i like that that's what i like that's, i think it looks good that way you know what i mean um, now if i was to go for something more realistic then i'd probably keep working on it for a little longer or even the female features on the girl might be more uh realistic in nature you know what I mean but this is just gonna be a design that I want to show you guys what it is like to work on procreate and to start something and finish it now a lot of times I start work and a lot of times I never finish it um, I pop off with these crazy ideas sometimes and then uh, from time to time um, I end up slacking and even though it may be a great idea I just never have the uh, energy or the focus to finish it so i start a lot of projects and i hardly ever have a chance to finish it but this right here i'm working on this is gonna be a design that i want to finish so i can show you guys what it's like to start something on procreate and finish it from scratch to finish you know what i mean to a finished design now um 
What do you guys use normally? Um, Procreate has been pretty popular in the last few years. Um, but like I said, I hardly ever have a chance to create something from scratch and finish it. Um, I'm also wanting to show you guys what I've been working on on my uh, canvases. You know, I got wood panels and I got uh, stretch canvases. Um, so yeah, I like to do a little bit more of that. Tattooing is fun. It's always fun to do some tattooing. That's how I get paid. And I would also like to get paid by selling some artwork, you know what I mean? Selling artwork is fun and it doesn't happen very often because I don't sit and create artwork very often. Um, I do a lot of tattooing and that's how I get paid most of the time. So um, anyway, this design right here, it probably took me uh, several sessions, you know what I mean? I put a lot of time and effort into this. Um, I created a design a sketch design for somebody the person decided that this is gonna be a tattoo for someone actually uh, they asked for a design that was involving these type of uh, details in there or, or features um, the, the person decided that they didn't want that, that design um, after the initial sketch up so you know he told me that he wanted to get something more uh, facing to the side and even though it could have been also a great idea I already had this one halfway worked and so I, I left it you know I, I put it away in my folders in my um, my tablet and every now and then I look at it and every now and then I put a little bit of work into it and then I decided you know what I should just finish this and throw in those extra details I want to see what this would look like as a finished piece you know what I mean a finished design now, here, I think, uh, uh, when I decided to do all the little hairs and all the little white details on on the overall design, man, I just made it pop a lot more. It made it look like it just stands out way better. Um, I think I needed that. Uh, it didn't have to have that. It would still look great without it. But this right here, it just goes to show how much better something could look the more detail you put into it. The more time you spend with your artwork, the better it's gonna look. The more time and focus you put into it, the better it's gonna shine. So here's my piece, man. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy what I'm working on here. It's beautiful, I like it myself. If you guys don't like it, let me know what I could change about it. What would I? What would you change about this design? I mean, um, I'm gonna present you guys more artwork this is just one of my procreate designs now this is what I don't like about what I have done here on procreate it's a small file meaning that I cannot blow this up more than maybe 20 inches and if I did you'll start to see the pixels start to break apart as I as you zoom into a, a low quality file you start to see that the lines become more squared, more pixelized, and that is the problem. Uh, maybe now you can actually probably go and get the uh, get that file sized up before you even start your project. Unfortunately, I believe I started this project before I can actually edit it at the size of the file. You know. On Photoshop, it's easy to just go in there and put 300 DPI, 400 DPI. The higher your DPI goes, you know what I mean, the uh, more actual, uh, what do you say, the more, uh, the more detail you can put into it, the larger you can scale it, you know, you can scale pretty much as much as you want it and still be able to print it out. Um, depends how you set it, your settings are on your file size if you understand where I'm going with this but here on Procreate I didn't see somewhere where I could do that so maybe you guys want to point that out man how do I size up my file here on Procreate now yeah, I might be able to edit the size, size of my file but it might be too late for this design um, it's possibly the best thing to do is to size it before you even start now when I zoom in on this project the pixels look a little bit you know they start to blur out at maybe 15 10 15 or you know such inches and that was not good for me so um, 
not good for my design. I don't, I'm not able to print this out in large scale. But as if I keep it in, you know, 10, 12 inches, 15 inches, it'll still it'll probably still print good. It'll probably still look good. This design was meant to just, you know, be something I can sit and hold on to. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I, I would love to put this on some kind of t-shirt or product, you know what I mean? It'd be fun. It'd be nice to see this on some kind of product or, or something like that, you know what I mean? Um, I might end up posting this on my Instagram so you guys can just peep it out and check it out. Uh, this is for the world to see. Check it out, the details right here, all the little dots and all the little details, little highlights, you know, the fur and the teeth and the lips are shining. You know what I mean? I just went all out on this, man. I had fun with my Apple pen right here. Um, now, I do have the first gen pen right here. Uh, I know they made a new one. And that new one in that snow cap, you know. Um, but I've been having fun, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to upgrade my tablet soon. I got a small tablet, but eventually I'm going to upgrade my tablet, my Apple my iPad Pro um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video the Ink Hustle Tattoo TV and I'm here to say hey keep working on what you're working on artists you know what I mean you want to be an artist man let me show you what I've done let me show you what I'm trying to do here uh, my next video I want to bring you guys a video on um, some type of painting you know i mean mural work or even canvas work with acrylics or something like that I man you know i like a lot of different uh mediums and this is just one of them right here my procreate app right here ipad pro let's go we did this man check it out i hope you guys enjoyed this video all you uh procreators out there all you uh enthusiastic artists who love working on tablets man this is it boom Till next time, folks.